Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this diamond shape. For this project we will use the grid. First either go to Edit, Preferences and choose Guides and Grid or press the K key on your keyboard and select Guides and Grid. Now set the grid line to 400 pixels and the subdivisions to 8. If your grid is not visible, either go to View and select Show Grid or press the Ctrl and Quotation Mark keys on your keyboard. Set the stroke to None and the Fill to any color you like. Next select the Rectangle tool. Then go to View and make sure Snap to Grid is enabled. Now draw a small rectangle. Make another identical one, change the color and create one more between these two. Now create two longer rectangles on the sides and one in the middle. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and select all bottom anchor points. Then right click with your mouse, choose Average and select both. Click OK. Let's zoom in. Now select the top two anchor points of the red rectangle. Choose Average again and move it to this intersection. Let's do the same with the other red rectangle. This time move the anchor point to the left. Switch to the selection tool and copy the green rectangle. If you wish you can use a different color. Select the green rectangle, switch to the direct selection tool and average the two top anchor points. Select the top right anchor point and move it one square to the left. Select the two bottom anchor points and use Average again. Let's create a copy and move this shape down. Select this anchor point and move it to the left. Now place it down. Let's turn off the grid. Now apply different shades of blue. Let's say we would like to reshape it and bring the white section down. To do this, first select all these anchor points, go to View and disable Snap to Grid. Now using the down or up arrow keys on your keyboard, adjust the position. You could do the same with the top anchor points as well. Now select everything, group it together and recenter it on the artboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.